back to my channel. How are you guys? Um, welcome back to my channel. So today is a um, video that video that works again guys can you guys remind me the title of this video I think it's called what I do in my kitchen yeah every Sunday but I don't title it what I do in my kitchen every Sunday I title it what I do in my kitchen week something you know what I mean guys so how are you guys welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscribe you're welcome to the VIP is it VIP or club Whatever you want to call it, or you're welcome to the family. I will say that you're welcome to the family. Okay. And last week, I wasn't able to. Um, last week, um, I didn't show my face. And most of you have been sending me comments, Janet, without your face, you don't get interesting now. What thing happen? Why not show your face? Waiting, waiting now. Okay. So this time around, I decided to show my face for you guys. I love you guys too. You're beautiful. You're cute. Most of you, I see your profile. Oh my god! You guys are beautiful. You're wonderful. You're sweet. You know, thank you guys for your support and your love and, and everything. You know what I mean, guys. And this is my outfit for the day. <laughs> and if you pessy pessy, you know what I mean, guys. Okay, so um, today, before I start showing you guys everything, um. Let me start the topic for today so um now i want to carry you guys along i don't think i'm i'm more connected with you guys enough so i want to be like you know you should get more connected i think you guys you my viewers are more connected to me more than i was to you guys and i don't think that's fair i think we should be all equal you know what i mean guys so, uh, what I want to start doing on my channel now, <sighs> so help me God if I remember. Because sometimes it's not easy when you're holding the camera, you're doing one, one or two things, the children are screaming, you have to go and all that, it's not easy. But I'll try, at the end of each of my video, anybody that sent me a comment, you know, anybody that sent me a comment that I like the comment, instead of me to be pinning it, I'll still be pinning the comment if I like it if one of my favorite comments I'll still be pinning it and I'm, I'll be doing shout outs like I'll read your name out you know just to thank you I know I should do it for everybody but anybody that sent the best comment okay the best and I don't want those kind of comments that you guys you know what I mean I don't know how to put it but I'm gonna find a way to put it because I want you guys to understand it sometimes I get comments and those comments sometimes I'm not happy to get those kind of comments you know what I mean guys because I don't want you guys to see that you are sending me comments and I'm ignoring you I don't ignore all my comments I try as much as I can to reply the comment that need reply you know if it's comment that okay maybe you're just giving compliment I just put it but I try as much as I to say thank you blah 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 but there are some comments that you guys will send me for example maybe if I'm cooking I get that a lot on my cooking uh, videos and I don't know why is this something I'm doing wrong but I see I'm not doing anything wrong because sometimes when you guys send me the comment I'm like oh or didn't I show it and I'll watch the video and I'll say that the question you're asking me the answer is there already I don't know why you guys are still asking me for example if I show that I'm blending tomato I use blender to blend it before I start frying the meat and all that you guys will start you, you guys will still send me comment that hmm did you blend the tomato before you start using it you put question mark I want me to answer that when I've already shown in the video that the blender they blend the tomato those kind of comments I'm sorry I'm not going to reply the reason why the answer is there already in the comments I rather a reply to those comments that need answer them the answer is not in the video okay guys that's one and one of you have been sending me comment try to ask my email I send my email you say you want to do some order and all that and you say you've been sending me email I did not get your email I get almost a many email a day I check my email well I won't see every day don't let me lie but since I know I'm if I may if I give somebody my email and I'm expecting email from that person 
I, I just keep checking I keep checking I did not I did not receive any email from you so it's not like I receive your email I don't want to reply or something like that okay so I don't know the the name I give you my Facebook name if you are not on Facebook and if you are on Instagram is the same name I'm using on my Instagram so you can check me out there if you're on Instagram send me a message otherwise all the email you send me I know they get them I know they get them you know so I appreciate you guys not like I'm ignoring you guys so that is that and don't forget that guys if let's say with this video now anybody that send me the best comments in my next video the comment you send me I'll be doing shout out on that video okay guys thank you okay guys yeah that's that so um let me show you guys I have um, tomato onions scotch bonnet and red long pepper I boil here because I want to make jollof rice as you guys know now in my house we know they get tired of jollof rice okay guys we know they get tired and I can see that you guys you compound with me you guys are my family you know they get tired of my jollof rice video <laughs> you guys still send me comments oh, it is delicious even though you just watch the one I post the other day the other day the other day so in my family we love jollof rice so much and I'm also making beans which I've washed and put it there already and this is the sauce I'm going to use for the beans I'm boiling there and before I start let me show you guys the beans because the beans is really good so I want to show it to you guys my viewers because there are a lot of beans I buy it doesn't go that have all this big 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 name when you buy it mm -mm. but this one <coughs> when you come across these beans you see it's um 1.5 kg and it's almost eight pound like 7.99 and you know one thing I like about it this is honey beans yeah and one thing I also like about it they've picked the beans it's not like you buy beans you are trying to pick the stone or the dirt everything is picked you just pour and wash and put in the fire and cook that's that and now what I'm going to do I want to make um you know those barbecue chicken the wings I'm going to make the wings it's a go very well with the jello fries yeah so I'm gonna do <clears throat> all this and normally what I do like this, on Sunday when I cook like this I keep it in my fridge so that you know it's school run during the week i'm busy so that when the uh, children come from school you know there'll be food in the fridge to warm to eat so this is the chicken wings i'm going to use okay guys that's what is going on in my kitchen today So I'm going to wash the chicken, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put the seasoning. So guys, my, my gravy for my jello fries is there. I've put all the seasoning. I've put my ghee, my stock, curry powder, and I've washed my rice. If you are new to my channel and you are seeing this video and you really like to know how I make my jello fries, Trust me, I have like thousands of how to make jello fries video on this channel. So you can check that out, okay? Okay. That's my chicken I show you guys earlier. I've cut it into half and I've put um, soy sauce. I add soy sauce and I add a little bit of aromats and a little bit pinch of salt just to be mayonnaise because I'm going to I'm not gonna leave it for a few hours I'm going to pop it in the oven right away and in here I've found my ginger and garlic and one scotch bonnet my children like it a bit spicy so that's what I'm gonna add the spice to it and I have my other um, seasoning that I'll be adding to it later on I'm gonna show you guys so you can see that this is curry powder as well and black pepper and I'm also going to add this chili this sweet chili and I see it just give it sweetness there's nothing special just give it sweetness you know like barbecue so let's start and guys this um, this is the jello fry sauce I took some out Maybe later on I'll be adding when the rice is soft and maybe like half cooked or if there's no need I'll just keep it in my freezer for another purpose use. So now let's start the remaining 
adding process sweetness you know just a tiny little bit sweetness, sweetness so i'm going to mix all these together and i'll get back to you when i finish so that's how it looks okay i'm going to also add this ground white pepper you guys let me tell you guys the more seasoning or flavor you add to your chicken the more better it will taste you know what i mean guys so this is ready i'm just gonna leave this for about 15 minutes to 20 minutes before i pop it in the oven okay guys so that's done so now guys let's check on our jollof fries yeah so now what i'm going to do i'm going to load the cooker to number four what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it with foil just to steam it. I don't want to add any more water. I'll see, maybe I'll need to add water later. I'll see. But first, I'm going to use foil to cover it. That's that. Let's check the beans. The beans is doing well as well. And, uh, this one is ready. So, guys, can you see my jello fries is ready? It's ready now. So I'm going to close that and move it to the small heat. And then I'm going to start making my sauce for my beans. So I'm going to add um, Maggie crayfish. I'm going to add one. my palm oil I know yeah. let me just add everything guys life is too short let's enjoy <laughs> That's it. And what I'm, going to do, I'm going to add my crayfish and I'm also going to add chopped onions you don't have to add onions guys if you are making it and this is not a um, video for recipe beans i'm just sharing you know what i mean guys you don't have to add onions if you don't like onions and you want to know how i make my beans you want to see the full details i have a video already you can check out the video so i'm going to fry this for about mm, six minutes i'm going to add salt That's, that's enough for now when I pour it in the in the beans later if they need if I need to add more salt I'll taste it for salt if you needed more salt I'll add salt but right now I think that's okay okay I'm just gonna leave this to cook for another five minutes and I'll pour it in the beans as I said okay so my jello rice is there bring Percy Percy can you guys see Yummy. So guys, I'm back to my chicken. This is the chicken I marinate earlier. So when I have my oven tray there, I add foil. So I'm gonna pour my chicken. So now I'm gonna pop this in the oven. sauce is ready guys i don't want to add any more because after all it's honey beans it's sweet already guys so what i'm going to do can you guys see my beans that's the beans we're gonna look i'm going to pour my sauce anything uh, African taste African taste mm. I think you only need salt so I'm going to add a little bit of salt not a lot that's that 
So I'm going to close this to cook. Where's the color? I'm going to close it to cook for about 10 minutes on low heat, very low heat. Okay, guys? Dodo. Yes, mommy. Uh, let me show you my jello fries. I love when I cook jello fries and it look like this, smiling at me. And that's my beans, guys. Oops, that's the beans, chef. You guys see? And let me show you guys the chicken. I can see it too. And you guys look at the chicken. Oh, can you guys see that? Very nice and juicy, guys. So, guys. My food is ready. Can you guys see? I have my dodo. I have my chicken. I have my jollof fries. And I have my beans. So that's what I'm going to eat. And I have my wine glass cup. I have my mortina. And I'm going to treat myself good. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. So guys, I finished now. Thank you for coming. <sighs> busy, busy. Let me just reward myself first. Mm. That's better, guys. Um, let me taste my food. First thing I'm going to taste will be the jello fries. Let's see. Just like my yellow fries, that's all I can say. And then the beans. Mmm. The beans is good. And I know why the beans is good. But we don't eat beans all the time. We do not use just like plantain. You know plantain is sweet now. Mm -hmm. And the chicken. Let's try the chicken. Mmm. 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 Mm. You guys you need to try this chicken. It's so delicious. So, mm, mm, mm. that's the end of this video. Mm. I'm just talking about it. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, it is so delicious. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for all your support, your love, your comments. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.